plane click view controls and select front and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow by the view cube and select parallel now we're going to start a line from this corner up to the center of the circle which is uh, 44 millimeters so type l for line command enter click anywhere on the screen move your cursor to your right for 44 millimeters enter and move it upward and the thickness is 1.5 so 1.5 move to your left for 44 millimeters enter and type c to close so this is the thickness now the distance of the center of the circle from the bottom corner is 3.1 so what i'm going to do is create a guide so type l for line command click this in point move your cursor upward and enter 3.1 and create a circle by typing c for circle command enter click this in point as the center of your circle type d for diameter option and enter 8 right click again repeat circle locate center of the circle or the or this in point for the center of your circle type d for diameter option and enter 5. now as you can see here there is a gap between this line and this line for 1.6 i'm going to show you by showing the model so the distance between this edge and this edge is 1.6 So what I'm going to do is offset the lines, O for offset command, and enter 1.6. Click this line and click above that line. Now I'm going to trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice. Remove this curve, this one, this line. And just delete these two lines. Now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command, enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now if you check from top view, you can see the distance from this point to this point is 20. So what I'm going to do is extrude this object for 20 units. I'm just going to turn off the grid. So go to modeling panel. Select extrude command, select the object, right click to enter, and move it to that direction or this direction for 20 units. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle. So the distance here is 40. So I'm going to draw a line first from in point to that direction for 40 units but before we do that make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking selection cycling 3d object snap and dynamic ucs so what i'm going to do is change this to 2d wireframe first so from in point to the direction for 40 units bring it downward and hit that perpendicular point and click that in point and that in point now we're going to join the segments by typing j for join command click that line click this line this line and this line now this is one object I'm going to extrude that for 20 units, which is from this corner here to this corner. So extrude again from the modeling panel. Select the object you want to extrude. Right click, enter, and enter 20 units. I'm going to change this to conceptual. So what I'm going to do is copy this one from in point to in point here. Copy this one from in point to in point. Now bring your drawing to top plane. 
and use uh, inside the solid editing panel select union command to combine the objects and just window the whole thing now this is one object now what i'm gonna do now is mirror the object so type im i for mirror command enter select the object and click anywhere here for your mirror line and as long as it's straight just click somewhere here and select no and mirror this one again mirror click this this um click this space move sideways and select yes now i'm gonna move this object from the center so just hover over you can see that circle and attach it hover over and snap the circle now i'm going to check for interference so go to solid and inside the solid editing panel select interfere and just window the objects enter and enter again and when you if you check at the bottom you can see objects do not interfere so we're good bring to top view i'm going to change this to 2d wireframe now I'm going to draw these circles because I'm going to do um, countersink as shown here. So I'm going to draw a line. So line from in point, move, move to that direction for 16.7. And the distance from here to here is 10.5. So move to this direction or maybe uh, turn on ortho mode to be safe. Okay, 10.5. All right, and another line from this point, from the midpoint up to the center of the circle is, okay, wait here from center to that perpendicular point or midpoint is 8.9. So line from midpoint to that direction for 8.9. All right, now I can draw the circles. So make sure your z-axis vector is pointing upward when you do the circle because this is going to be our xy plane here. So circle, click that in point, type D for diameter option. Okay, this is the, um, okay, circle, click that uh, in point, type D for diameter option and enter 7, enter. Right click again to repeat circle, type D for diameter option and enter 5. Now just copy this one, copy selection, in point to in point, there. Just want to make sure it's the in point. Move again, uh, center of the circle. Alright, I'm going to turn off my ortho mode move center of the circle to in point all right now i'm gonna bring this to top view i'm gonna mirror these circles and specify first point of mirror line it should be from the center here and move it downward and select no mirror this one this two select and type in i for mirror command and specify first point of mirror line so from mid from midpoint and move your cursor sideways click and select no now i'm going to draw a counter sync i'm just going to change this back to conceptual I'm going to use so go to home, use press pull command and just hover over the center of that circle. Once it turns blue, left click, let go of your finger, bring it down. Same process, left click, let go of your finger and bring it down and left click again. Now, 
Now go to solid and select um, chamfer edge and just click the edges here. Enter and enter again. Chamfer edge again. Click this edge, this edge, and this edge. I missed this one. Okay, chamfer edge. Click this edge again. All right. Now for the corner here. The radius of the fillet is 3. So inside the solid editing panel, click this drop down arrow and select fillet edge. Go down to the status bar and click the radius option and enter 3. And enter. Click this edge, this edge, and enter twice. Right click again to repeat fillet edge and it remembers the last command or the last value. Of the command so click this endpoint and this uh, endpoint and enter again all right now the next thing to do is draw the pin so what I'm gonna do is draw a circle so see for circle command And um, change first the direction of your z-axis vector. I want it to be parallel to the direction of this one here. So go to home. And inside the coordinates panel, click the z-axis vector. Click anywhere on the screen and just move the direction to that, um, the z-axis vector to that direction. I'm going to draw a circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and enter 4.8 as shown here, this one here. And the height for that is 80. So I'm just going to use extrude command inside the modeling panel. Select the object and extrude it for 80 millimeters. Now I'm going to draw another circle. So C for circle. Hover over and snap the center. Type D for diameter option and enter 6, which is this one here, which is also this one, looking from front view. All right, and the thickness for that is 1, so I'm going to extrude this one for one unit to this direction. I'm going to copy this um, object from center. To the center of the face now combine the objects by using union command inside the solid editing panel select union now this is one object now move this object from the center not that face here but this one here Snap the center and snap it to the center here. Now I'm going to check for interference. So go to solid, select interfere, and just window the whole thing, enter, and enter again. And we check here at the bottom, it says object do not interfere. So we're good. So I'm going to change this one to realistic. I'm going to check here if we miss something. I think we're good. So I'm just going to minimize this one. Maximize this screen. I'm going to apply materials. So type in materials. And I'm just going to use um, metallic paint. I'm going to use glossy sheena so click this arrow and uh, window the objects right click here and select assign to selection now if you want to adjust the color so click this pen to edit click color 
and select somewhere here or this one here and make it lighter click OK close this one and close this one and go to visualize click this drop down arrow here and just adjust exposure setting and I'm gonna move the objects somewhere here and erase these unwanted objects now bring your drawing to front view I'm gonna rotate so go to home and click this one here 3d rotate I'm gonna rotate this object and I'm gonna use the base point here center of this circle and just move this somewhere here for 90 degrees check again interference so go to solid and it says here objects do not interfere I'm gonna rotate this again so RO for rotate select the object and from center I'm gonna move it uh, for another 90 degree interference enter again and so we're good and thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and see you again